As humans, we tend to feel uncomfortable with uncertainty and look for stability and sturdiness, even in the way we visualize things around us. The figure ground principle is a gestalt principle that describes that exact human instinct. The principle states that people instinctively see objects as figure and ground, where figure represents objects of focus in the foreground, while ground represents the background. Essentially, what our eyes are doing is differentiating an object from its surrounding area. And as a result, this saves us time and reduces our cognitive load. It's our way to simplify a scene, composition, photograph, logo, or website. But this isn't always as straightforward as it seems, and can even be considered an art form at times. Rubin's vase created by Danish psychologist Edwin Rubin is one you've likely seen. Depending on whether you see white or black as the figure, you end up seeing faces or vases first. Unlike Rubin's vase in interface design, it's important to clearly differentiate between the figure and ground in order to direct attention to key elements of an interface, provide visual cues, and prevent any confusion for the user. We see designers do this through blurred backgrounds, size, color contrast, isolation, Let's take a look at blurred backgrounds. When we want to respond to a specific text on our iPhone, the text is the figure we want to pay attention to since we are responding to it. And the rest of the background is blurred. The figure stands out and helps users focus on their response. With size, we see a lot in e-commerce websites. Here, Nordstrom is using large images to draw attention to the new ASOS fall collection. The image or the figure is larger and therefore seems closer, while smaller text elements seem further away in the background. Color contrast is an important visual design in general. Skillshare uses color contrast in its buttons. The high contrast button or figure draws attention and encourages users to watch the video now. Users are more likely to see isolated objects as a figure rather than background. This can be important when driving attention to that product. Apple does this a lot with their images of their products. The isolation of the product or figure directs the users to it. It's important we apply Gestalt's figure ground principle. Understanding the figure ground principle helps designers draw attention to key elements that are meant to be interacted with and overall improve their user experience.